welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you every time I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Oh my word, today I am bringing to you a farmhouse DIY using these tin planners that you can get from the Dollar Tree. I know I'm a little late to this DIY party using these, but I tell you, I think I've come up with something pretty cute. And if I'm being completely honest with you, it's taken me a while to really figure out exactly what I wanted to do with these planners because I had a whole idea and concept in my head. I just didn't know what I wanted to do with the planner itself. Did I wanna paint it and distress it? Did I wanna crackle paint it? Did I wanna try putting a stain on it? to distress it and rust it. I just didn't know, and honestly, until the other day after I saw Bargain Bethany's DIY on how to rust these, super budget friendly and it works amazing. And so that's the route I'm going. So thank you, Bethany, for that idea. Today's DIY is not only using some Dollar Tree items like this tin, but it is also using some items from Walmart. I've had so many of you asking if I can incorporate some crafting items and budget friendly items from say Walmart and Michaels into my DIY wise because there are some of you who don't have access to a Dollar Tree and so that is definitely something that I'm going to do more often and I think it just kind of widens what I can do and you know kind of puts a variety of things into it although I will be using items from the Dollar Tree quite often I am definitely going to be incorporating other items as well so let's not waste any more time. Let me show you what I have in mind using these metal planners from the Dollar Tree and some items that you can pick up from Walmart as well. Let's jump into it. For this DIY, I'll be using several paper towels and some distilled white vinegar. You can get a bottle of this at Walmart for under a dollar. I'm gonna fully douse my paper towels in vinegar because I'm gonna be setting these around the outside of my tin. If you want to use a hand towel, you can. Just keep in mind that we are distressing this, trying to get that rust look, so rust will get on your towels. And I personally prefer the paper towels because it sticks nicely to the outside of the tin. I'm going to use probably about three or four sets of paper towels, and like I said, I'm really going to douse these in vinegar because you want them good and wet so it really kind of gets onto the tin and gives you that nice rusted look. Once I have my tin fully covered with the paper towel and the vinegar, I set it aside and I let it dry overnight. I found that after a couple hours my paper towel was dry and so I kind of went back on and off and poured vinegar over the paper towel again just to re-wet it. And by doing this, it really does just kind of enhance that rusted, distressed look. And I did this, I think, a total of three or four times throughout the day. The next day, after about 24 hours, I went ahead and removed the paper towels, and this is the outcome, the distressed look that you can achieve just by using white vinegar. I love the look of this. I think that this is such a budget-friendly way to distress these tins that you can get from the Dollar Tree. The look of this is gorgeous and really, you would never know that these were something that you can get from the Dollar Tree. This looks like something that is several years old that's been sitting in a barn. For this next step of the DIY, I will be using 14 of the jumbo popsicle sticks that you can get from Walmart in the crafting area. And I will also be using some of Waverly's Wax Antique Paint. As most of you know, if you've been following me, this is a paint that I really like to use a lot because it kind of acts as a stain once you apply it and if you wipe off the excess if you don't wipe off the excess you end up with this gorgeous walnut antique brown which is a color that goes perfectly with the decor of my home again this is one of those diys that you can do to suit your decor if you like white you can use a white paint or an antique white paint really is your choice get creative make it your own I'm gonna paint all 14 of these jumbo popsicle sticks with this antique wax paint on the front and the back sides of all of them. 
Then using some of Aileen's Tacky Glue, this is a glue that you can find at the Dollar Tree, and I tell you, it's amazing. I've seen great results with it. It's one of my favorite glues to use. I'm gonna glue together all of the jumbo popsicle sticks using this glue, and I'm gonna do it in the shape of maybe a trellis or even the shape of a window frame, I guess you could say. And I'm gonna do it two popsicle sticks thick because I want it to be sturdy. And I'm not really gonna explain to you how I'm doing it because I don't think that I can articulate it very well without making it more confusing than it needs to be. But you can see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. And like I said, I'm just gonna do it two popsicle sticks thick to really give it some sturdiness. And I wasn't joking when I told you that I was really excited to see that Dollar Tree had their cotton stems back in stock because it's that time of year. So for this DIY, I will be using two cotton stems and using some wire cutters, I'm just gonna cut off the excess wiring at the top and the bottom of the stem. And I'm gonna use some hot glue and I thought just by placing this on one side of either this trellis or window pane, that this would really be a nice embellishment for it. Kind of just dress it up a little bit, give it more of that rustic farmhouse feel. I'll also be adding some of these lamb ears that you can get from Walmart for 97 cents a bunch. I tell you, when you see these in stock at your Walmart, you need to grab them and stock up on them because they're a great buy. I love the color of green that these give off and these are gonna give just that subtle touch of color to this DIY that I'm looking for and it goes really great with the cotton stems. On the bottom half of this window pane or trellis, I'm gonna add some hot glue to both bottom corners because I'm gonna set it right inside of the tin that we just distressed from the Dollar Tree. And because I stocked up on so many of these lamb ears because I absolutely love them, I'm gonna be adding these to the tin the color of these is going to add such a soft, subtle feel to this DIY. And like I always say, this is such a versatile piece. It really is one of those pieces that you can make your own by adding whatever greenery or flowers you like, by painting the trellis whatever color you'd like. That really is what DIYing is all about, is taking an idea that somebody brings to you, taking what you like from it and leaving what you don't and making it your own. I decided to add again some of the cotton buds to this just to tie it all in because I just love the look of them. And of course, this would not be one of my farmhouse creations if I did not somehow tie in a twine flower or a twine bow. And so for this DIY, I wanted to tie in a bow using some of Dollar Tree's twine. And I'm gonna do this bow about eight strands thick just to thicken it up, give it some substance and just very easily make a bow and I figured the best place for it to be would be right below the cotton stems here on the trellis or window pane. This is such a budget-friendly farmhouse decor piece that you can make for $5 and under using items that you can get from Walmart and the Dollar Tree. And this piece has such a subtle farmhouse feel to it that I absolutely love. I hope you all enjoyed today's farmhouse DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.